Tell you not to fire missiles at big ugly monsters? No. Look, who are you people? We're the guys that are gonna save your local behind. Look, it's our job to protect the city. Uh, no offense, but you guys just train on the weekends, right? And two weeks in the summer. Yeah, well, we do this for a living. Uh, Ooh, Ira, I think we're gonna need a bigger devolver. Don't worry, Harry. I'm a genius, and a genius always has a plan. Everyone into the fire truck. Uh, Dr. Kane, I, uh, I think we may have one little minor problem there. Doc, I'm assuming a genius always has a plan B? Of course I do, Lieutenant. I just haven't thought of it yet. Well, think faster. Oh, Dr. Kane, it's crushing the truck. You gotta do something. I can't stand that noise. Oh, not my baby. No! Well, on the bright side, now it can fit into a compact parking space. That's it. Lieutenant Lucy, you wanted a plan B? Well, you're it. Just keep that thing's mind off the fire truck, Lieutenant. You got it, Doc. Wait, I need the remote control for the fire truck. Here you go, Dr. Kane. It's devolution time. Hey. You the man, you the man. Ira, you're a genius. Thanks, guys. Uh, there's just one other thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at what that big, ugly, purple genus monster did to my truck. Oh, what a wicked chance to make some major new modifications. That's it? That's a monster? Oh, not so scary now, is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, Doc, how's it going? Ira, there's good news and bad news. The good news is there's no reports of genus outbreaks, so you guys are free to take the weekend off. Oh, that's, that's right. great news, Dr. Reed. I've been promising to visit my folks for ages, and I think the old I'm busy saving the world excuse is starting to wear a little thin. Well, I have to file my report on the Philadelphia genus outbreak, and I can't do it until Ira finishes his research. Can you get it to me first thing Monday morning? Uh, sure thing, Dr. Reed. I'll just do it on my weekend off. Thanks, Ira. You're a chump. A uh, champ. Woo! Okay, people. Yeah. Looks like I got work to do. Let's head back to the lab. Aren't you guys coming? But Ira, your folks are so cool. Ira's dad makes the best food, and his mom just loves sports. Aw, oh, wicked. Can we visit your folks, Dr. Kano? Can we please? Can we, can we, can we? Well, I do have a lot of work to do. 
But I did promise, and I could always do my work in my old lab at my parents' place. Uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, any chance of a push? Enjoying yourself, Wayne? Yeah. Can you guys go any faster? Hey! Wow! Hey, Einstein! Hey, my buddy! Hey! Mom! Dad! How's Mommy's little genius? Hey! Mom, please! You're so skinny! What are they feeding you at that high-tech, top-secret government agency? Mom, Dad, I'm fine. Well, Ira, aren't you going to introduce us to your friends? Well, you already know Harry. Great to see you again. This is fireman in training Wayne Green and Gassy. Hi, Dr. Kane's mom. Hi, Dr. Kane's dad. And this is Lieutenant Lucy of the Blue Berets. Mr. and Mrs. Kane. Hey, Einstein. Did you miss me? Yes, you did. Ooh, good boy. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, what a wicked dog. And did you make him yourself, Dr. Kane? Oh, yes. Ira was always doing all sorts of experiments when he was a boy. Why, one Valentine's Day in the sixth grade, he created this flower shaped like a heart mm. for a little huh? girl in his class. And Mom, please. So, son, are you seeing anyone? Hmm. We were hoping you might find a nice girl and, uh, settle down by now. Uh, well, I've been really busy. You need to get out there more. You've got to play the field. Yeah, you'll never find anyone locked up in a lab somewhere. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Oh, son, relax. You never could take a little teasing. Welcome home. Come on, Harry. Let me show you how my curveball is shaping up. Hmm. Lieutenant Lucy, you're on KP with me. I'll teach you my secret recipe for duck a la Kane. Oh, wicked. Take a look at this tricked out garage, Dr. Kane. I'm gonna fix a fire truck. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess if nobody needs me, I'll just go to my room and get on with my research. All by myself, working. Right. Ah, just as I left it. Looks like a genius's work is never done. Time to get genus crunching. This evolution of the genus is the most active I've seen to date. It replicates, adapts to its environment, and evolves faster than any outbreak we've fought before. Luckily, it's safely contained. Ooh. Oh, look at everybody having fun. I want to have some fun, too. No work and no play makes Ira a dull boy. Hey, can I join in? Sure, Ira. But there's only one mitt. Why don't you check up on your dad and see if he needs any help? Oh, okay, Mom. <gasps> dad, Mom was wondering if you guys needed any help. <laughs> sure, kiddo. Why don't you give the stew a little stir? Uh, okay, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Wayne Meister. I was wondering if you needed any help on the truck. Uh, what was that, Dr. Kane? Oh, uh, never mind, kiddo. Forget I said anything. Consider it already done, Dr. Kane. <sighs> Look, it's very simple. I throw the stick and you fetch it, okay? Okay, go, fetch it! Man's best friend. I'm glad everyone else is having a great time. Well, at least I've always got my work. <gasps> Mom! 
Mom, this is very important. Have you been in my room? Mm -hmm. I only tidied up a bit. What did you do with my genus samples? Well, you know, I always clean up after your experiments. I can't stand having a messy house. I thought you were done, so I put those messy jars in the dishwasher. Mom! <laughs> This isn't good. The genus has worked its way into the farm's water system. And it's evolving. Ira, I think you'd better take a look at Wayne. Uh, Dr. Kane, uh, I, I feel strange. <laughs> Wayne's mutations are usually linked to the genus evolution, which means the genus must be imitating the farm animal's DNA. <laughs> Just genus. Scopes. <laughs> Get ready, people. The genus is coming. The genus is coming. Ira, what's happening? Have you been putting homemade amphibian DNA in the mulching compost again? Now, son, you remember what happened last time? Mom, Dad, I was four! Look, there's no time for this now. The genus has evolved, and I'm gonna go out there and kick its slimy purple backside. Ira David Kane. Language. Well, uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna go out there and evolve it. Please? Looks like the genus has decided to come to us. Uh, uh. Shut this place down fast. Maybe they changed their mind. Mom, somehow I don't think so. Uh, thanks, Mom. Don't mention it, Ira. This is fun, just like pitching. Hey, you two are handling this really well. Oh, well, we're used to it. Some scientific disaster always happens when Ira comes home. It keeps life interesting. I'm picking up genus signals in the attic. Come on, Harry. Nobody messes with my attic. Mom! What? Don't worry. We'll be careful. People, get ready. Something big is heading this way. You got it, Dr. Kane. How on earth did that goat get up here? Uh-oh. You said it, Mrs. Kane. Venus is supreme! We will rule! Hey! Don't you ever...
ever get tired of saying that? Ira, we've got a problem. They've become immune to the current mix of blue goo. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> How pathetic. Your cheap chemical tricks are no match for our superior abilities to adapt and change. What do we do now, son? We fight. You humans are weak with your emotions and your fragile family units. But you this is all one family. We are strong, and that is why we will take this place, this world, and make it our own. Gas! Dr. Kane? Head for cover, Wayne. You got it, Dr. Kane. <laughs> Harry, Lieutenant, the door! Genius cap, because we're running out of time. Dr. Kane, you have a genius cap? Um, no, Wayne, not really. Hmm. We need to recalibrate the selenium, but how? Think, think. Whoa! Dad, what's in this sheep dip? That's my special formula. Absolutely hypoallergenic. Some sodium lauryl sulfate, some propylene glycol, and of course, selenium bicarbonate. Dad, this sheep dip's beautiful. Uh, what sheep dip, Dr. Kane? It's a special wash used to clean vermin off the animal. Well, we got plenty of vermin right outside this door. Now, if I can calibrate it with the old mix, it should be perfect. Mom, Dad, head out the back. You'll be safer in the fields. All right, alienators, let's load the truck and take this show on the road. Whoa. I've been meaning to try this all day. Scopes. No! Humans! You have wiped out my family. Now I shall wipe out yours. <laughs> Mom! Dad! <laughs> Son, we are so proud. So, guys, did you enjoy your vacation with Ira's parents? Aw, you bet! It was wicked! Yeehaw! Yeah, you could say that. Hi, son! We thought we'd come and stay with you while our place is being rebuilt. Things are so exciting when you're around. Oh, just look at this place. It's such huh? a mess. Mom! 